Hey boys and girls, good morning. Q here. How's everybody doing? Hey, I just want to update you guys on uh, a new uh, addition to my Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 and that is these AEW from India pipes. Now, uh, I installed these yesterday and took them out for a test ride and I'm really, really happy with them. I have the uh, baffles in. I gave the ECU the 10 minute idle to adjust to them. I've got a DNA filter in there, but I, I didn't take completely remove the snorkel. I have the original snorkel, but I used a grinder and I smoothed out the inside of it to make the air flow through it a little bit better. What I think all this uh, opening up the airflow with the filter and what the pipes does is it gives you more high end but it kind of robs you of the torque and I like I like a meaty torque and so when I put the snorkel back on with that DNA I got a little bit more mid-range at the expense of a uh, high range and, and I'm, I'm totally fine with that now uh, there's the new pipes here's the gigantic uh, originals that came off and uh, a pretty pretty big weight difference now one thing that drives me crazy is, you know, I bought these on eBay and they say they fit the 2022 uh, Royal Enfield Interceptor, but there was no way to get both of these bolts into these pipes. Um, I, I undid the, the bolt down here to give myself more room, pulling and yanking and sweating and working for hours and trying to figure it out. And at the end of the day, I end up with just one bolt holding each one of these pipes and the other one just kind of hanging there in midair. Um, this kind of stuff annoys the hell out of me. I don't, you know, it said on eBay that these pipes fit the 2022 Interceptor. Well, yeah, I guess, <laughs> but not very well, of course. Um, but I think one bolt's plenty to hold those pipes, those lighter pipes. It sounds great. Uh, I can fire it up for you. You know, it's GoPro audio, so. But it's got a really nice rumble to it. I like it a lot. And uh, I may try some other things. I might try with the... Um, baffles out. Uh, I may experiment with taking the snorkel out. So go from the absolute freest flowing I can get with these headers to, um, to you know, uh, this is a more restricted. This is with, with the uh, snorkel and with the baffles. So uh, the other thing too is the black. Now, one thing I am is cheap. I am cheap as hell. I, I just don't have a lot of money. Um, and I manage my money very, very carefully because I've never had a lot of it. And so what I've done is they had, you know, the stainless steel versions and there's the S and S's that come with that you can get uh, from the Royal Enfield dealers that are stainless. But you have all these different metal colors. You've got this kind of color. You've got this kind of color. You've got the chrome. You got the case, all these different colors. The pipe is chrome, and then you're going to put stainless on the on the back for, by the way, six hundred and seventy dollars for the S and S or whatever they're called, um, and that's going to be another color as well. So I said, well, if I'm going to have another color, why don't I just get the black? Because the stainless steel AEWs were like three or four hundred dollars. These black ones were two hundred and twenty-three dollars delivered from India to my door, tax shipping and everything, $223 US dollars for those pipes. And, you know, they sound great. And actually, you know, I, yeah, I had my doubts. What's the black going to look like? I think it looks great. I love it. I'm totally happy with it. So there you go. I'll probably experiment with a few more things as far as those pipes go. I love this generic windshield. Check out my earlier video. This thing is just transformed the bike. I don't know about the looks, but the, the performance of this windshield, this $50 windshield from Amazon is fantastic. The, the bike is so much faster, so much more comfortable. It's a great deal. Anyway, boys and girls, that's my update. Thanks for watching and uh, bye for now.